before looking at courses and trying to decide how to edit them or change them around so they work for you, you should have a, a quick look at the BC Learning Network. Uh, the BC Learning Network is where we probably get about 90% of the courses that are developed elsewhere or developed in collaboration with someone in another school district. Um, it's a consortium of school districts, um, there's a whole list of them here you can see, that um, just got together, throw in a bit of money and then over the summer um, develop or revise courses that are there. And um, uh, you know, like so if you, if you want a, a particular course like I don't know, Social 6 or something, this is where you would go to, to um, ask for it and maybe they'll develop it over the summer. Or you'll find uh, teachers, you know, if you're an English 12 teacher, for instance, you'll find other English 12 teachers at other DL schools that uh, uh, <coughs> will um, uh, collaborate on things. Or if, if you're looking for something, they might have it if there's a mistake in the course, that kind of thing. So I just want to really quickly show you two things here. Um, one is, first of all, there's some regular meetings they have um, listed on the, on the front page here. Um, to, you know, so if you can um, have a look at, there's usually an agenda that goes with them so you can, you know what's going on, but if, if you can attend, it's usually useful information um, about DL schools and courses and that kind of thing. And the way you join that is just at the time that, um, you know, the course would be, or the meeting would be on, uh, it, there's, a, there's a link way down here in the bottom, you know, you need a microphone glass to see it, but it says meeting room there. You just click on it and that takes you to the Illuminate Center. You just put your name in there and away you go. Um, if you miss the meeting, there's an old meeting link here. So if you click that, you see that all the old meetings um, are there with the, a short agenda. And again, you just click on the link here and away you go. You've, um, you've got... Um, uh, a recording of that lesson that you can fast forward through. So if you see something that might interest you like uh, English 12 or Math 10 or you know that one, then you can hear what that, was, that discussion was about. Usually very useful information. The other link on the home page that I want you to be aware of is if you're looking for a course, um, it may be that we don't have it installed on our Moodle server, but um, it may be available. So um, if you want to know what courses are available and what they look like to see if they, they might work for you, you just click on course previews here. Um, if you have an account, then you, you would be asked to log in here. But if you don't have an account, then you can create one. Just use your school district's um, email address, and it's pretty quick to get that. And then um, you just log in. And it takes you to this page here. Um, basically, it's a little bit confusing because there's, there's discussions which are forms about the courses, but those aren't the courses. So if you want to look at the, the actual courses, just click on this All Courses button. And um, there's the list of courses that are available. Now, some of these are open school, some of them are old cool school, some of them are developed by other members of the uh, consortium, uh, the BC Learning Network Consortium. And if you want, you just um, click on whatever course you're interested in. Um, I don't know, like I've never seen Social Studies 8, so let's have a look at that. And it takes you right to the course. This is a student view of the course, so you don't see the teacher's materials, but it gives you an idea what the course is about. And if it looks interesting, just um, I'll let uh, the, your um, Moodle administrator at, the, at your school know, and then, um, it will be downloaded and installed you know, you know, very quickly. Then you can have a closer look and start editing it if it looks good. So that's the meetings at the BC Learning Network and um, course previews. If you don't already have a free account, um, maybe just click on the course preview button here and uh, make one now. It'll only take a few seconds and then at least you'll have the account and you'll see you'll need that later on when you're looking closer at your courses. Thanks very much.